Hi again, here we are at the third tutorial on how to create a gallery with Drupal in a gallery in which photo elements are notes. I am Matteo, this is my Drupal consultant Conilo, and let's go on. In the first tutorial we have created the gallery, in the second tutorial we have created the mass upload function, now we are going to create the reorder like this, you see. <coughs> We can reorder just moving around uh, the photos. We are creating this function. Let's go back to our dummy empty uh, website and we have an example gallery. First of all, let's go to upload some picture. So, add files. We are going to get in the files. Let's upload all these files. Start upload. Now we'll, we'll make the time go faster. And here we are. When all the files are uploaded, we can go down <coughs> and click here on generate not entity. Let the time go faster. And here we are. All this picture have created the new notes. Now we have an album full of picture, full of picture that we cannot see because we don't have created yet a view to to, to see the picture. And but now we are going to create the reorder function. To achieve this result, we are using two models. One is view, and the other one is draggable view. This model allows you to move an item from one side of the other of a view. So we have already installed this on our, on our new installation. So let's go to structure, views, add new view. Our new view is reorder items. And we don't need a description, but it's a, well, now for this tutorial, but it's a good idea to always write a description. We are going to show content of type photo. And we are not interested in the order now. We are not creating a page. We could, but we prefer to use panel. So we want to continue. And here we are. Now, let's add some fills. We need the node ID. We need the content need node ID. This for our draggable view to work. Then we want to have our photo. And then we want draggable view content. Image file, we want we have an image, we don't want it to have an original size but a good size thumbnail so we can know what it is but it's not too big and we don't want it to have a link it to anywhere because we want to drag it so we have to click it. On the content need we don't want a label but we don't even want it to be displayed, it will use just for draggable view to work. Here we'll leave everything as we like. We don't need a label, but for everything else we can change anything. Okay, now we are going to remove the title. We don't need it. And update preview. And here it is our view. We are going to remove the label image now do the magic html list draggable view actually was created to work with table what but with html list we will get it work in a nicer way creating the square you have seen in my my other website and uh, update preview. Here it is, you see, and we can change the order, but, but, the order will be 
the wrong one, so we have to change. Draggable view, wait. <coughs> Apply. Let's save it. It's a good idea to always save a view. And here we are, but we have a pager. We don't want a pager because we want all our items displayed together so we can take the last one and put it as a first one for instance so let's go here and let's choose display all items and here we are then we have almost finished here we are displaying all the images we have on our website, but we want to display only the images that are related to a particular album. Otherwise, every time we get all the images together, it's not a good idea. So, contestful filter, and our contestful filter is the filled album. view if there are no oh maybe, maybe uh, display the no results it's always a good idea to specify a validation criteria it is um, content album number ID Filter by album. Why? No results behavior. Now we don't see any photos, but <coughs> if we put the node ID of our album, we get all the photos and only the photos of our album. Now let's put this view in the right page. So let's add a content pane. So we want that only the editor be able to use this mission. No. Role. In this way only the editor can change the position of our photos. We save the content. Now we go back to our structure, pages. And in the other items, we click Edit, we go to Content, and we add some new content, and we go to View Paints, Loader Items, Finished. Update and save. If 
to now go back to our home page go to our newly created album we don't see the picture yet because we haven't created this view but if we go to real other items here it is and we can decide that this is our first picture because our Drupal consultant need to be the first one let's click save here it is. In the next tutorial, we are going to add this page, the page to edit the caption, the description of all our picture. And when we add the order and the description, we will finally go to creating and displaying our gallery. Bye bye for the moment from me and my Drupal consultant, Cornelius.